this is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology, and this is the astrological forecast for the second week of June 2019. So on Monday, 10th June 2019, at 17.27 UTC plus 2 time, super chatty sun in Gemini has a fight with know-it-all Jupiter and Sagittarius. So sun in Gemini says to Jupiter and Sagittarius, Will you stop trying to teach a lesson out of everything that happens in life? Jupiter answers. And will you stop seeing things just only as bits of information? There's more to life to that, and you know it. Then we enter the tricky part of the week, where Mars starts making headlines again. On the 13th of June, 2019, at 0046 UTC plus 2, Mars in Cancer meets the North Node of the Moon. We have said several times before that Mars in Cancer is not a happy place because Mars in Cancer gets to meet his weak spot there. Mars wants to get things done without much ado. Mars in Cancer finds himself going around emotions and feelings as dictated by the ever-changing mood of the Moon. And this saps all the energy for Mars, because Mars wants to go direct. Cancer is to Mars as kryptonite is to Superman. And making Mars feeling more frustrated, it doesn't help Mars at all. The North Node is an amplifier of sorts, so this kryptonite gets bigger and bigger. Not only that, but Mars then, on the 14th of June 2019, at 0811 UTC plus 2, gets sidetracked by Neptune in Pisces. It's a friendly sidetrack, but with Mars' con- current shaky condition, I'm not sure that Neptune will help, because it will make things even fuzzier for Mars, when actually he doesn't need that. Especially when on the same day, at 18.50 UTC plus 2, Mars in Cancer makes the exact opposition to Saturn in Capricorn. Now, I won't sugarplate this. This is one hell of a fight, and Mars is not going to win here. We have a weakened and frustrated Mars that is facing a very strong and Saturn Sun in Capricorn. Somewhere in our lives, we are going to hit literally or metaphorically, a huge wall with a big no written all over it. Just imagine a moody Mars saying to Saturn, I want to have that. It makes me feel secure and safe. And Saturn will look down to Mars and say, No, you can't. And Mars will start acting out like a teenager or crabby and going all passive-aggressive. So please, do pay attention on the day and the days building up to this opposition. They might be tricky. We are going to be literally forced to take action on something because we arrive at a dead end. However, we have a choice of how to react to that situation. Then on the 16th of June 2019 at 16 UTC plus 2, Mercury in Cancer has his own fight with Saturn in Capricorn. Probably saying that then situation as before, but now the fight is more with words than with fists. What we might see is that the energy shifts from being visceral to a more mental frustration, although we are still under the influence of an ever-changing emotions. What first was a frustration that made, made us bang our head on that wall Now we're going to be writing graffitis on all over the wall to express our inner turmoil. Then shortly afterwards, at 17.21, Neptune in Pisces gets to have a quid pro quo with Jupiter in Sagittarius. Both Pisces and Sagittarius are Jupiter's domain, so he is the master on both sides of the turf. So as much as Neptune wants to create that fine state of illusion, Jupiter will manage to make the best out of it at the end of the day. However, this is the second part of a story that started on the 13th of January 2019. So try and remember what was happening back then. 
that story will have a second chapter written to it. Since Jupiter is regrograde, going backwards, there might be some adjustments to be made to the initial plan that we made in January. However, bear in mind that that story is not finished yet. Jupiter and Neptune will meet again on the 21st of September 2019. So there is ample time for the story to shift and change and morph. Should you need any guidance of how to navigate these energies, I'm available for private consultations. Before you go, let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. So, bye for now, and good luck.